get ready for day three of Ignite. Today we're working our hip flexors and our glutes. We've got some really great exercises to complete today. Eight exercises, 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds rest. We're gonna to need to have a chair and a yoga block in this session today. And for your reference, I'm gonna be using seven kg weights. We're gonna start off with a short warm up. So when you're ready, let's ignite, let's fire up those hip flexors and glutes, and let's go. Okay, let's get those hip flexors and those glutes warmed up. We're starting on the ground. Place your right foot forward, push forward, stretch your left hip flexor, and then rock back slightly. So do this six times on each side. Once you've done six, change legs, put the left leg forward, and once again, Nice little dynamic stretch, forward and back. And once you've done those six, come down onto all fours. And then just place your hips in a nice circular motion over to the left. Stretch out your glutes. Let's do six big circles to the left. And then once you've done six to the left, go over and six on the right side. Really nice stretch, well done. And then come back to centre. Okay, what we're gonna do is climb up on the right side and then go down on the right. So commando style, body weight only, just six reps in total. Still. And then once you've done six, change to the left and down on the left. Nice job on that sixth one. Stand up, grab hold of your right leg. Now it's a bit of a balancing act, so see if you can push forward and then just stretch out the hip flexor back of the leg as well and then come back to centre. Do this four times on each side. You get a nice hamstring stretch as well. If you need to hold on to something, just hold on to the wall or the chair nearby. Feeling a bit wobbly. <laughs> Left side. Focus in on a point normally on the ground, it helps. And breathe. Great job. Okay, shake it all out and then just kick behind. And then we're gonna get ready to start. Our first exercise is a body weight only, so you don't need to grab your weights just yet. We'll grab the yoga block and let's get ready to go. It's time to start our first exercise. We're going to need our yoga blocks for this one. Just stack them on top of each other. We're going to work our glutes on the right. Place your right foot on. And then what we're going to do, just to give you a demonstration first, is we're going to go up on our toes on the left and we're going to squat down with a slight hinge forward and then push off the right leg. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to do this one for 40 seconds then we're going to change over and we'll do the opposite side. So when you're ready, place your right foot on. Nice and tall on the left. And let's do it. So down nice and deep and push up. Think about the engagement in the right glute. Even touch it and hold on to it and see if you can connect your mind connection. Just into the glute, you'll start feeling it firing up and igniting as we go through this first exercise for our glutes today. You will feel a little bit in your quad as well, but predominantly as you're leaning forward a little bit, go straight into our glute muscles, building up our glutes. Eight more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. All right, so over to the other side. Hopefully, fired it up a little bit there on the right. Let's go over to the left. 
place the left foot on. Get into position and ready. On your toes on that right side. Hinge forward a tiny bit. Let's connect with the left glute now. Nice and deep. Pushing into the blocks. Whole foot is on the block. Great job. Yes, we've got 10 more seconds to go. Good, last two. And one more. And then relax. Well done. Okay, next up, place just one of the blocks on the floor. Take them out away for a little bit. Grab your weights. We're going to be doing a front foot forward leaning lunge. So, right side on, left off. Hold the weight by your side, lean forward and come down towards the block and push back. Forward and push back. Again, connect into the glute area and breathe. Slightly hinging as you come forward, see if you can touch the floor. If you can't, don't worry, you can get there. Practice, be consistent. Do this video a few times, not just once. Last two. And one. Oh. Lovely little fire there. Change over to the left side now. We got this going on the left now. So again, whole foot on the block. The right leg goes back. We hinge a little bit forward and come down and push. Nice flat back, try not to round your shoulders. Push into the foot and then get down nice and low. So you can tap the floor with those weights. work. Focus on your breathing. Just a few more to go. Let's get for another one on this left hand side. And then relax. Beautiful. Great work. Okay, next up, put the weights down. We're going to do a split squat, but just body weight only. If you fancy it, you can use the weights, but if you want to um, just use your body weight. This is the option here. Lean forward and then push up. Breathe in. Do not fully extend the leg at the top. Keep it nice and soft on the knees. And engage the mind connection to the glutes. For sure. We're also going to be stretching out that hip flexor on the left. So, breathe in. Right, 10 more seconds. Try to keep your balance. Three, two, let's push one more through. One, yeah, ooh, what a nice feeling. Both in the hip flexors and the glutes on that one. Fantastic. Okay, on to the other side. And place the left foot on. And the right leg is gonna be off over here. Hinge forward, see if you can get that knee down towards the ground, tap it, push up with that left side, especially here, hip flexor right, glute on the left, breathe in, beautiful job, for those who've got weights in their hands, just keep them held by your side, right here, otherwise if you've not got any, just place your hands here. Comfortably at the side. Last few. Ten more seconds. Good. Let's squeeze in two more. Last one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Extra work on the left. Brilliant work, guys. Okay. Next up, we're going to need to work with the chair. So 
put the blocks out of the way. Now once again, you can use your weights. If not, do not worry. Use it body weight only. I'm gonna place my right leg on, foot elevated, and we're gonna go down into a foot elevated split. So down, rising up. Down, rising up. Breathe out. In. In. Oh, this one's deep. So a bit more into the glutes now. As you go down, hip flexor stretch on that right side, glutes on the left, 10 more seconds. Good, last one. Oh, release. <laughs> Definitely felt the fire in that left side. Gonna change sides, so. Right leg on the ground, left leg back. Have the weights ready in play. When you're ready, hinge forward slightly. Let's connect that mind connection to the right glute. Breathe in and out. Yes, foot, foot elevated lunges, these are. You can use a stool, chair, sofa, whatever you've got handy, you can actually get even deeper into the exercise. Breathe in. 15 seconds to go. Nice. Oh, I'm really starting to feel that fire. Two more. Last one. Oh, great job. Woo. Okay, round one is done, time to have a little drink and then get ready for round two. With your blocks, we go on the right side first. So place the right leg on, power down with the left and power up. Feel the fire in there. Glutes. Good work. Yes, we've got this. Beautiful. 15 seconds to go, guys. We're starting round two. We're ready for the fire. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, let's switch it over. <laughs> Legs, they really do take it out of you, don't they? Very much so. Left side, biggest muscle group, lots of blood and energy going to the areas. Okay, down step, push up. Next up, we've got that front foot lean forward lunge. So don't forget about that. <laughs> I'm gonna grab two weights or just body weight if you want. There's 15 seconds left. Great job. Three, two, one. Oh, excellent, okay. So, my foot's going to be on that block on the right side to start with. I've got seven kg weights, sticking with them. Right foot on, left off, and then let's go. Really focus on that depth, that range of motion. Push down and push off. Breathe in. Feel a little pinging and firing into the glutes as you go down nice and deep and then push back. Let's go for our last one and then 
Relax, lovely work, guys. <laughs> Ooh, starting to get a bit sweaty in here. That's the way to go, isn't it? Nice and sweaty. <laughs> Shows we're working hard. Okay, in position. Left side. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Go. Breathe in. And out. Slightly hinge, see if we can touch the floor. And out. Hinge. And push. Push up, strong, release, <laughs> great work, put your weights down, get ready for our split squats, we can't forget them can we, body weight only, right side on, left off, remember not to fully extend the leg as you come up, so lean forward, tap, rise, connect into the glute, power up. going to be quite cold in here today but it ends up to be really really warm especially when you've got a great session going on as well keep that great work going five four three two one well done wow left side when you're ready Breathe to get that nice oxygen through the body. Keep the body cool as well. Okay. So we'll do it on the left. Down. seconds now let's go Ooh. all the way to the finish line and release nice work oh wow so far so good We're nearly at the end of round two let's pick up our weight on the last round I put my um, right leg up and I should have done the left so I'm gonna Put the left leg up and start this side. Foot elevated, going down, rising up. Down, rise up. We still end up changing sides, so it's just that the other side was worked before, so it was a little bit more tired, but still good. Oh, brilliant work, the hip flexors now, feeling it, especially on that left side. Way there. One more. Oh, well done. When I said halfway, I meant as in two rounds out of four. Oh. Okay, switch over. Okay, and get the right leg on the on the bench to the left, the right left on the floor, and go. I started to lose my words a little bit because it's so intense. <laughs> Breathe in, Woo. out. Yes. Nice. 15 seconds left. One. 
Oh, and release. Right, definitely have a drink of water because oh, I need to rehydrate, especially me. Oh, that's water I'm losing through sweat. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you sweat as much as me. I'm not sure that's possible, but I think it could be for some. All right, guys. Round three. Let's go for it. Yes, and if you needed extra rest, then just pause the video at any time. It is 30 seconds rest in between each round, but if you do need extra, don't shout and scream at me, just pause. <laughs> you can have a little bit longer if you want. That is the beauty of doing home workouts, isn't it? She paused the video. Brilliant. And no one's watching. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. That one's um, a nice one, isn't it? Because it's nice and soft on the foot as well. And it's still hard, obviously. <laughs> but soft on the foot. Should be hard on the glutes. Left side. Breathe in. Step up nice and tall. And think about how you want your booty to look, okay? So if you want it to look firm and round, and you want to get the good gains, then focus on your range of motion. Nice and deep, and your connection into the area that you're working for sure. Three, two, one. Ha, <laughs> relax. Great, okay, put them out of the way. Actually, no, put one on the floor and then grab your weights. The right side coming up. Leaning forward lunges, round three. Let's go. Come down, come down, come down, tap. And then push back. Down, 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 tap. Push back, a little pause at the bottom would be great as well. Breathe in. Tap. Yes. The fire exit igniting. I don't know if you get this feeling, but I got the feeling here the right side, the elastic band pinging inside. Just when you know that it's firing, igniting up properly. <sighs> okay, last one guys. Down, and then push back, well done. Ooh. Left side, let's go. <sighs> okay, we can pose. Left on, right off. Should we do this side? Of course we should. We want it to be balanced, don't we? <laughs> you don't want one to look bigger than the other, really. Ideally not. Great job on that front, leaning forward lunge. Keep getting down, pause. Good balancing work as well. Very, very good. Let's go. And release. Nice. All right. Give those weights a little break. And let's move into that split squat. Body weight only. My right leg is going on first. Left back. Remember what I said in the other two rounds. Hinge forward, but don't fully extend up. So nice and soft. Even put your hand right here and feel the firmness of what's happening throughout the session. Should be getting tougher, stronger, nice and firm. Ten more seconds. 
seconds. Definitely breaking a sweat now, wow. Two, one, and change. Oh boy. Left side. I know what I should have done. I should have tied my hair up today. That's what I should have done for this session. I left it half up, half down. It's okay. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with the sticky hair sticking to the body. <laughs> nice, I hear you say. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Cheers, Anna. <sighs> Push in. And up. What I need to do is uh, grab a towel. And um, in, the, in the breast period, I'm just gonna a bit more less sweaty <laughs> okay last couple more to go guys good job and release beautiful okay Ooh. right the foot elevated split why did I leave this to the end I'm asking myself now <laughs> left on the chair right off Hinge forward, let's get down. Because we're hardcore, and um, we're stepping forward a little bit more there because that wasn't quite in the right position. So I don't want to be too close to the chair as well. <sighs> nice. Get that hip flexor stretch going on that left hand side. Oh, well done. Should we do one more? Okay, let's go. Oh, the elastic band effect was definitely in there. Okay, left side. Round three is nearly done. Well done, people. Stay with me for round four. If you've got this far, then comment down below and tell me that you made it for four rounds because we are doing four rounds in every single session. <sighs> Not three anymore. So if you've done any of my other sessions, they were a little bit shorter, but this time I wanted to give you an eight longer one. <sighs> 15 seconds to go. Well done. Oh, great job. <laughs> oh my goodness, right. I'm gonna wipe the sweat off a little bit and get ready for the last round. We're smashing it. We're nearly there. Check that to the side. Okay, so. Right foot on for the last time. Give some love to your block, nice and tall. Push down and push hard into that right glute. Last round. Stay with me, finish strong. Of course you want to finish strong. I do, I've, I've come here for no reason, you know? Making these videos because I love it. And I hope you do too. <laughs> Tell me if you love it in the comments. That'd be really nice. I like feedback. I like to know if people are actually doing it and they're listening. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. This side. Foot on the block. Pose. Push into that left side now, okay? Two, one, let's get down and rise up into the left. Beautiful work. Yes, yes, yes. 
20 seconds left. We got a lovely lean forward lunge. <laughs> Can't go up. That's the good thing about having only eight exercises to focus on because you know exactly what they are and you get more and more practice. Practice makes perfect. Last one. <laughs> good. All right then, so white block. Move one to the side, grab your weights. Oh yeah, last time. Leaning forward lunges, in position, soft knee, hinge forward, let's go. Last time round. Let's see if you can get to the floor now if you haven't already done so. Get to the floor, tap and push. Ooh. Tap and then push. Oh wow, fire, fire, fire. Great job guys. Eight seconds. Squeeze one more in there. Two, one. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, left side, get ready. Left foot on the block. Remember the technique is everything. So leaning forward. Let's go. Left side last time. Out, push. In. Out, push. Oh my goodness, my leg is shaking on the left. That's how great this session is having a huge impact on the muscles. And therefore, it's like screaming. That's good. Great, five more seconds. Let's get one more in. And rise and release. Oh, put those weights down. And body weight. Then our lovely foot elevated lunges are at the end. Won't have it any other way, of course. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's do it, go for it. Down, up, down, tap the knee down, rise up. Tap the knee down, rise up. It's like it's raining on my mat. <laughs> All the sweat that's coming. Lovely. 20 seconds. Beautiful work. Last five seconds, we change sides. And relax, beautiful. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, left on. In position for the last time on this left side here. Go. Halfway up. Breathe in. Now, if you want to get good results, say to yourself, we've only got two more exercises to go and I'm going to keep pushing through as much as I possibly can to the end. Just one more, say to yourself, just one more. It's not that much out of the percentage of your day that you exercise, so push to the end. Well done. And release, good. Okie dokie. Our last exercise is coming up. Single side, foot elevated, splits. And we're gonna have the right foot off and the left on. Make sure you've got a nice distance apart. And then the weight's in the left. Let's go nice and deep. So always focus on that nice range of motion. As deep as you can get. And if you can touch the floor, I'll be really impressed. <laughs> I can just about touch the floor.
far than what it's telling me. Yes, sir. <laughs> One more. Oh! Wow, wow, wow. Last one. We made it to the end. We made it. Nearly. 40 seconds left. And when you're ready, let's go. Tap down. Push. Tap down. Push. Ooh. Ten more seconds. <laughs> Last two. Ah. One more. Oh, <laughs> great job. Yes. <laughs> I'm so pleased that you finished to the end. Well done. <sighs> Let's get a quick cool down. Especially for those hip flexors in the glutes, yeah? If you've got the chair and you don't mind placing your foot on it, my shoes are indoor shoes, so I don't mind. If not, take your shoes off and then push forward. I'm sure people wouldn't be very happy if you were doing it with your dirty trainers on the chair, so keep it clean. <laughs> really stretch out the hip flexor there on the left-hand side. Give it a pat. Talk to it, say, great job. And then change. Other foot. Yes. Hip flexor on the right side. Now, as I said before, you can also, if you're feeling up for it, combine this session with any of the other Ignite series. If you wanted a full hour session, you can go into biceps, triceps. Uh, we did quads and hams, didn't we? And also we're gonna, get, we're gonna do chest and back. So if you wanted to put two groups of opposing muscles together, you get a full hour session with me. Um, which is an interruption, you know? If you haven't had enough, you get a little bit more. Well, if you just fancy doing half an hour in one muscle group, then great. It's also good. Let me know what you um, got up to. Okay, guys, just slight hinge from the hips here. Stretching our hammies, but also going into those uh, glutes as well. We're gonna crawl down to the floor. If you want to, and you can, into a pigeon stretch, because that's a great one for the glutes, isn't it? Right leg forward. Sit up nice and tall. My, even my arms fitting. I that. Not just my head and my arm. <laughs> oh dear. Brilliant job. Come up and then let's change, shall we? Oh. Really, this is like the best stretch, isn't it? Really the best stretch for the glutes. Love it. Especially if you're doing it properly. Easing down towards the ground and then got your elbows to come down and you get even deeper in the stretch here, you get deeper. All right, last one guys, place your hands back on into that down dog position, walking dog, all connected into the back of the legs, walking dog, bring your hands towards the feet, stay here, four seconds and then rise up very slowly. Move from the ground up, so blood pressure. Breathe in, and our signature finisher. Up, in and out. Do this three times. Thank you so much. Hope you have a really, really great day. Or oh, great evening. Well done. Proud of you. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>